mysterious things far frozen in ice and tactical. From the time the explorer first claims Antarctica in the early 1800s, people have wanted to know more about the mysterious frozen continent at the bottom of the world. What was underneath the ice? How could living things even exist in a place with such an extreme climate? Starting in the late 1950s, scientists began to probe Antarctica mysteries in earnest with efforts such as the U.S. Antarctic Program and Antarctica New Zealand, which operates Cardways. Over three decades in particular, researchers have made scores of important discoveries. Here are 11 that are particularly insightful. Dinosaurs once lived in Antarctica. In the mid 1980 and early 1990, scientists discovered multiple sets of fossilized remains of the reptile who once ruled the planet. The fries established that dinosaurs had lived on the southernmost continent as far back as 200 million years and as recently as 75 to 80 million years ago. As the New York Times account of the discovery explains, it was possible for the creatures to survive there. And because the planet's temperature was 50 degrees warmer in those days, and because the Antarctic landmass was in a different spot then, in the middle of what is now Southwest Pacific Ocean. A meteorite found in Antarctica contains possible evidence of ancient life on Mars. With the vast, largely undisturbed expand, Antarctica is a great place to find meteorites. In 1996, scientists from NASA and Stanford University revealed that a potato-sized meteorite which had originated on Mars and landed in Antarctica 13,000 years ago, contained what appeared to be fossilized specimen of ancient microbe life on the red planet. Antarctica is the best listening spot on the planet for earthquakes. In 2003, data proved that National Science Foundation, a mansion called South Pole Station, which has instruments placed in holes below 1,000 feet, is the best place on the Earth to detect the bright pressure that quicksand through the Earth. That's because it's at the bottom of the Earth axis and can detect quick waves without interference from the Earth spinning motion. The the active undersea volcano of the Antarctic coast. In 2004, a research ship sent to investigate the collapse of the Lassen B ice sheet made an unintended discovery. Near the Antarctic Peninsula, the continent northernmost point, scientists detected a previous unknown 2,300 foot tall volcano rising up from the sea floor to within 900 feet of the water surface. Temperatures rose, moving along the sea found evidence of geothermal heating of seawater, which along with other evidence indicate that the volcano has been active recently. Antarctica may have been connected to North America. In an article published in Science in 2008, researchers presented the case that a lone granite boulder discovered atop an Antarctic glacier supported the theory that the parts of Antarctica was connected to North America in an ancient supercontinent that been dubbed Rodinia, which formed between 1 billion and 1.2 billion years ago. It lasted for more than 150 million years. Chemical and isotonic tests of the border reveal that its chemistry was very similar to a belt of igneous rock that otherwise has only been found in North America. Antarctic icebergs are hotspots for aquatic life. In a study published 
in a journal Science in 2007. The researchers reveal the icebergs carved by the Antarctic ices contain trapped material from the soil that they gradually release into ocean waters. As a result, the icebergs create a halo of nutrients or rather that supports around the aquatic life from fed of plantain and krill to communities of sea spurs. Antarctic once was a refuge for animals from an ocean mass extinction. In 2009, scientists identified fossilized remains discovered in Antarctic decades before as belonging to Compusia, Antarctic, which was a cat-sized, a clean distant relative for modern mammals that lived about 250 million years ago. What's particularly interesting about the ancient species is that it apparently survived a mass extinction event, which may have been the result of global warming by relocating some work from Africa to Antarctic cooler climate. Back then, Antarctic was part of another supercontinent called Pierian, which formed between 270 and uh, 299 million years ago and broke apart again around 200 million years ago. Antarctic glaciers are in an irreversible retreat due to climate change. In a 2014 study, scientists analyzed 40 years worth of data on sea glaciers sending ice streams into Antarctic Amazon um, Bay. They concluded that the glaciers were being eroded by warmer ocean water that was eating away at their fronts and that the process had advanced past what University of California. Researcher Eric Reynard called the point of no return. A separate study done about the same time concluded that one such gla glacier, the Thwaites Glacier, could vanish completely in 200 and to 500 years. There's a valley deeper than the Grand Canyon, hidden under the ice of West Antarctic. Scientists using radar to probe beneath the ice of West Antarctic have made an amazing discovery. In a paper published in 2014, they describe a massive valley nearly 200 miles long, 15 feet across and 2 miles deep deeper than the Grand Canyon that lay beneath their feet. Life exists thousands of feet under Antarctic ice. Researchers drill a hole more than 2,400 feet into Antarctic raw ice shelf and send a robotic road down to explore an area that gets little sunlight. They expected that the water would be devoid of life, except perhaps for a few microbes with low metabolic rates. Instead, according to 2015 Scientific American article, they made an study discovery. Tiny fish and other aquatic creatures living under the thick ice. What the animal relied upon for food was unclear, but one theory was that a bacteria at the bottom of the food chain were powered by chemical energy in the form of methane seeing upward from ocean sediments. Bonus fact, bubble in Antarctic ice reveal the composition of ocean Earth's atmosphere. Scientists have drilled into Antarctic ice and remove cores that contain bubbles that froze as long as one million years ago. In a paper published in 2015, the scientists described how the bubble provided evidence of a strong link between carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere and glacial cycles. One alarming finding Carbon dioxide levels in the ocean air never rose above 300 parts per million, less than for 4 parts per million threshold that planet recently surpassed. 
climate scientists attribute the latter increase in atmospheric carbon, largely to the burning of fossil fuels. These and other discoveries have helped scientists to see Antarctica not as a barren, isolated wilderness, but as a place that being interconnected with the rest of the planet and plays an important part in its natural history. They've also given us revealing insight into the extent to which human-driven climate change is altering both Antarctica and the Earth as a whole.